it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks and Real Southern Woman. A lot of y'all have been wanting me to show you how I do my hair up on my head. And I actually cut it about once every couple of weeks because it does grow about at least a half inch, I guess, or so, or at least three weeks. So what I do is I wash it and I condition it, okay? And then I take a brush, so simple, and I brush it up on my head. Now, the key to it is that in order for it to look like a ball right on top of your head, you have to put your ponytail on top of your head, not in the back like a regular ponytail. So when you brush it, brush it with a brush or a comb and comb it and brush it up to the top of your head. Now you're gonna take a rubber band, a hair band, that one's got hair in it already, and you're going to put it around the hair. And I typically, when I'm cutting it, you could just put it in there. Uh, I have a lot of hair for one. A lot of people don't have as much hair as I do. So I'm gonna show you up close how big my ponytail is. It's pretty big. So what I do is I put it right on top of my head like this. I pull it up straight. Here, let me move this view a little bit. I pull it up straight like that. And you can tell that it's gotten a little bit kind of crazy on the top. And then I trim it uh, every few weeks. Now it needs to be right about, about three inches tall to do what you want it to do. So these are my favorite cutting scissors. I'll give you a link to them because they're amazing. They have been, they have just beat out every pair of hair scissors I have ever had by far. Uh, they work so 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 well, even if you're like going at an angle like this and doing a clip. I clip it just like that. That's all I do. And you can brush it again once it's in the ponytail if you want to. You know, with a comb or a brush, however you want to do it. And get it all up in there straight. And just do a trim again in case you missed a piece or two. All right, now I actually take a shaver and I shave my sideburns because they're so gray. I do, I shave them on both sides. And then I have Chris shave the back of my neck. They're called um, the wall and it's called a peanut, okay? So we're gonna plug this in and give me a trim right quick. If you don't do this, then your ponytail and everything just looks crazy. Once the gray starts coming out right here on me, it just gets so wiry. I have a girlfriend, a friend that can come over or something if you're not, if you're not, if you're too nervous about doing this yourself, but I just take I can feel the hair that's up in this. You can put your finger over the top of it so that you don't get that hair. And then just use your bullet. Or peanut. And it doesn't matter to me if it's not absolutely perfect because if somebody's inspected me that close, I don't even care what they think. You know what I mean? That's all there is to it. That's all there is to cut in my hairstyle. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the bottom. Now, if you've got hair that's not wiry and it's gray, then sure, I mean, there's no need to cut this right here necessarily, um, but I like to do it, okay? Because mine is so crazy. 
And I'm going to show you how much hair is in the sink. And some of it went down my back and into the floor. But um, I'll show you that real quick. But what happens if it gets too long is it lays flat like this when it's dry instead of wanting to be pretty and look like a, a circle. And what I do at this point is I let it dry by itself. Okay. All right. If you've got to be somewhere and you want to style it quick, you can always blow dry it. But leave it up because this part looks pretty slick anyway when you got your hair up like this. And just dry this part. So now let's style it. You're going to take your hairspray, and this is what styles it. So you don't have to curl it or nothing. So now it is on top of my head. It's been blow dried. You can see the the shape that it makes on the on the top of the head. This right here is a little bit long for me, really. Um, but once I fluff it, it'll be all right, I think. Make sure you got it pulled tight in your bun. Matter of fact, I am going to do one more turn on this for mine so that I don't have to worry about it, you know, coming and done. If you don't want it to be real tight on your head to give you a headache or whatever, this amount of hair does not give me a headache and I have migraines all the time. So, uh, but if you want to do that, then what you can do is pull it really tight to begin with. And then once you start, um, once you get it kind of like you want it, then just take the base of it and pull up on it just a little bit, you know, to release that pressure on your head. And now we're going to style it. And I may actually trim. No, I guess I won't. It'll, it's all the right length. So I'm going to just spray it with my hairspray. And then I'm going to fluff it. And this hairspray is um, professional grade. You can get it at the grocery store, at Walmart, wherever. It's L'Oreal. You know, I love L'Oreal. I use L'Oreal Lightest Auburn Hair Color. So I just take my fingers after I spray it, and I just kind of separate the little pieces like that. And I don't tease it with a comb. I just kind of pull it apart with my fingers, okay? Cause you don't want it like crazy sticking up. Just sticking up enough that it's pretty. And then spray your sides so they don't want to fall down. And the good thing about putting it up when it's wet is all this hair right here will smell really good when you take it down. When I take down my hair, the way that it's up in this, when I take it down, it just flows and it actually makes it have a wave in it that's really pretty. <coughs> And um, you don't get that when you're putting a regular ponytail in. You get a little wave in the middle of your hair that don't look very pretty. But when you do your hair like this and you take it down, it looks really pretty. You don't even have to roll it, and it looks like it's been uh, hot rolled with big rolls. Okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and stick my makeup on. I'm going to show you all what I've been doing lately. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching Real Southern Woman. If you fix your hair this way, you'll never want to go back the other way. I'll turn all the way around so y'all can see it. Gets it up off your neck. It's cooler. The minute I take my hair down, I get hot. I take it down at night for Chris. That's really the only reason I have long hairs for him. Thanks for watching Real Southern Woman, and we will see you next time. Bye, y'all. Love ya.